Welcome back. Big news today is with Iran as agreements are made on key parameters of the nuclear agreement. Recently, Republican Congressman Ron DeSantis of Florida sent a letter to constituents warning that the Iran negotiations are, quote, troubling, unquote. Representative DeSantis is a member of the House Committee on Foreign Affairs, and he joins us now uh, to offer his reaction to today's agreement with Iran. Congressman, is this a bad deal? Well, thanks for having me on. I think that it's noteworthy to hear how Iran is trumpeting this deal in Farsi. And um, they're basically trumpeting it as a victory. They got what they wanted. They wanted sanction re sanctions relief, and they wanted to keep their nuclear program. Uh, they didn't want to have to choose between the two. And um, so I think this is going to be met with a chilly reception in Congress. Uh, Javed Sharif, the Iranian negotiator, uh, was bragging about the fact that the sanction relief is essentially front-loaded, that if Iran just complies on the first day, then the sanctions will start to be removed. And I think that's troubling because you're removing your leverage uh, for this regime to, to do what sure. they said they would do. And I think we have no reason to want to trust them. President Obama actually explicitly addressed that, saying this deal isn't about trust. It's ultimately about verification, with some of the strongest verification standards uh, we've seen, I guess, come out of one of these agreements. Does that give you any comfort about what happens in the years ahead? Not really. I think if you looked at the agreement, and I've just read the outline, uh, you're talking about converting, say, the Fordo facility into a nuclear research facility. Well, what does that even mean? I think there are a lot of question marks about even what's in the deal. But, yes, I don't have confidence that you're going to have robust verification. And Iran has cheated in the past. And so I think Congress is going to have a huge number of questions. Uh, and I think that, that there's going to be a, a desire to want to weigh in on this. And, Congressman, the ultimate outcome or, or goal, I suppose, is, is being a little bit lost in, in these discussions. I mean, what do you think our relationship with Iran is or is supposed to be about if we even should have one, in your view? The most important issue at stake here is that Iran, which is a regime that is based on militant Islam, that they cannot have a nuclear weapon. You cannot mix that ideology with nuclear weapons. And I think that's the case tomorrow. I think that's the case next. And I also think that's the case 10 years from now. And mm -hmm. when you set up a system in which the sanctions will disappear after a 10-year period, even if you assume that the verification measures are going to work, even if you assume all that, guess what? At a 10-year period, Iran would be free and clear to go ahead and take their existing nuclear program and start to create nuclear weapons. And that okay. is very, very concerning. Bring it in the panel here. Uh, Congressman, it's John Ford. So, so what's the alternative here? Is it, is it to bomb them and bomb them? the facilities and set them back a certain degree and take diplomacy off the table? Uh, is it to just try to put such onerous sanctions on, further sanctions, that the country's economy completely collapses? Or is, do you think diplomacy could just be done better? What is the alternative? Well, I think the alternative to a, a bad deal is a better deal. And I think we made a mistake from the very beginning by providing yeah, billions of dollars in sanctions relief because Iran was hurting at the time. That's a time when you want to be stronger on that front so that they're force it's really forcing them to produce concessions. Instead, we sent the signal that we really want to deal above anything else, and that's why Iran's been able to get a lot of concessions. I would walk away from this deal, and you've had people across the political spectrum recommend this. Even Vermont Governor Howard Dean was recommending this, uh, and to go to a more coercive form of diplomacy, which, yes, you are ratcheting up the sanctions, imposing that, um, and I think that's really the only chance you would have to have diplomacy work. If you kind of just go involved and think you're going to have a good faith gesture with Iran, uh, that's just not going to cut it. So you think the U.S. should play more bad cop among our allies at the negotiating table rather than say, okay, we're going to give you a chance and let you maybe mess up a little if you're going to mess up and then put further sanctions on you? Look, I, I think that if you want Iran to force them to make a choice between nuclear program or sanctions relief, you're going to have to mobilize your allies and impose tougher sanctions. I think that that's been clear from the beginning, uh, and I think that's where you'll see most members of Congress come down uh, after reviewing this deal.
Mike, can you just put this into perspective for us? We've seen oil move around a little bit today. There are some saying now this means the price of Brent's going to come down, but ultimately, where does it leave us? Uh, it definitely leaves us a little bit more on the defensive with the com when it comes to oil price, because I think the deal was handicapped enough. The market was expecting something like this. And then now the assumption is lots of new supply we haven't already calculated is going to come on the market. I don't know if that's going to be the decisive factor in what happens to oil, but obviously it's, it's bearish for oil price. And in the months ahead, Congressman, which June now is when we work out the specifics. And as the president said, you know, the specifics matter. Everything will hang on whether there's an agreement on these specifics or not. Uh, is that where we could see this all fall apart in your view? I mean, what needs to happen uh, come June for you to be satisfied with this deal? Well, I'll tell you, I mean, the, the deadlines uh, keep changing. Um, so, yes, there's obviously got to be a, a lot of information about the specifics. I mentioned the Fordo reactor. What does that mean that you're going to have nuclear research there? I think there's going to be a lot of questions with each point in this deal. And so it'll be interesting to see. I would urge the administration to be transparent, come to Congress, explain this so that the American people are able to scrutinize it. And that we will. Thank you so much, Representative Ron DeSantis of Florida, this afternoon with your thoughts. Thank you. Have a good weekend.